the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Mic check, check, mic check. Uh, I was going to do this talking headshot without the sunglasses, uh, but the sun just came up from behind the clouds and my eyes are very, very sensitive to light, which will probably, if you've watched any of my videos for an extended period of time, you will recognize this exact backdrop of the downtown Winnipeg skyline. I have filmed talking headshots here uh, after I decided not to go back to play college hockey at VIU. Before I went to Sweden, my first year playing just outside of Stockholm in the Flemingsburg area. Going back to Sweden uh, eight, nine months later to the Gothenburg area to play for Varberg in my second year pro there. Coming back, spending a little bit of time here, actually spending a lot of time here over the summer, which is the last time I actually lived here in Winnipeg. Uh, and then obviously going to Motor City and since not living in Winnipeg, I haven't really filmed any headshot videos here. But uh, I want to do a talking piece that I think will sum up all that beautifully and quite possibly be the most important talking headshot I've ever filmed, period. So uh, whatever you're doing, put down your morning coffee, put down your avocado and toast and please listen. Um, over the past five, six years, whatnot, of documenting my journey on film on YouTube, of going to play college hockey to not going to play college hockey to getting cut from every team, every league, making what feels like every team in every league. I mean, I played four games for six teams in the FPHL, which, by the way, if you want to pick up some awesome uh, mugs and merchandise, 12 Pass Ridgen and Withfill, and the four games and six teams, there's a link in the description. Also, get it for free if you support the Patreon page. Sorry for the plug. Um, but in the process, of accomplishing my goals. I have accomplished the goal I wanted to of playing professional hockey. There is no doubt about that. I've absolutely done that. Would have liked to have played more games. Would have liked to have been more stable and established myself, which that journey is still not done. I would like to remind everybody. I know the comment section thinks I am. I'm not retiring. Hopefully you've been listening to my podcast because if you would, you know all about that. I think in the process, who you become is the most important thing. I've been very fortunate to have the success I have on YouTube and almost hitting 100,000 subscribers. But in that time, going from the person that I don't really have an identity outside of hockey. If I quit hockey, what do I do? Who am I? What do I become? I think I've gone from somebody who chased genuinely being likable, which I think is reflected in the comment section the past couple of years, to now I don't need to be liked by anybody. I want to make myself respect worthy. And if you are respect worthy, people will respect you. And if people, that people choose not to respect you, well, then the door is over there because you're not welcome over here. And I don't want you around watching the videos or anywhere in my life if you don't respect what I'm putting together. So there's been a lot of self-improvement between the years, uh, the last five, six months since about July. It's cliche BS, truly becoming happy. I mean, I am in Winnipeg, which murder capital of Canada. I am unemployed, I have no team. I do not own a vehicle still. I have no place to call home outside of staying at my mom's whenever I do come here. I have no chick. I am single as a Pringle and I am happier than I have ever been. I want to find a team. My agent is working hard. We are going to find a team. We're going to find a deal and I will continue the season, whether that's in Europe. I know we got a lead in France right now and a couple other Fed leads. But again, that does not define who I am as a person. So, um, but on that note, on the topic of self-improvement, I want to give a quick word to today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. Over the past three months, I have been on a self-improvement journey like never before in my life, and that all started when I began my therapy journey with BetterHelp. Starting therapy to address a lot of the cycles and the habits that I built up in my childhood has been game-changing. Professional hockey is a complete up-and-down roller coaster of emotions, and they call it the show business for a reason. So getting therapy to undo a lot of these habits I've built over the past 27 years has been incredibly helpful. BetterHelp aims to make therapy affordable and accessible in a way it's never been done before. So by answering a few simple questions on their questionnaire, they'll pair you with the perfect therapist to start your healing journey today. And you can access it via your phone or your laptop, wherever you are in the world. And right now you can get 10% off betterhelp.com when you go to betterhelp.com slash drive sucks. Again, that's 10% off your first month. You can also use the promo code Trav sucks and you can start your healing journey today. I want to say thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and ultimately helping me to improve myself, to be the best version of myself that I can be and be the best man that I possibly can on this planet, both on and off the ice. Thank you so much, BetterHelp. I want to say thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now, there's a lot that goes in and I've been through a lot the past couple months, so being able to reset the mind, I think this could not have come at a better time. Uh, but I will be prepared. I will be leaving to Vancouver in two days. There's some awesome shots of the city that I call home that is my birthplace and I love, downtown Winnipeg, and uh, an awesome training montage with my trainer, Brian to that. This is interesting. This is the first time in my life I've ever you know, been mid-season, no team, in limbo, not sure really what's going on, so simple as that. 
check these out. Freshly cut twigs, paddle cut down, spray painted white because they're black. I hate black sticks. This is the Picasso himself. Dude, those look wicked. Yeah, that's like automotive. All right, so check this out. So I got the new Bauer Agent and I got the Warrior V3i Pro Plus 2024 stick. I shaved them down. They were all black. I hate the look of like an all black stick. So I just whited up the paddles. Featuring the greatest manager in rural sports history. <laughs> like the white tape or the white paint? Yeah, I mean, that's what all the kids are doing these days. So you right oh, yeah. Good. Right in the chest. Yeah. Oh. With more flexion, you should be able to get a little bit more forward. Go into your stance again. Sir. Now, I mean, it looks great there. Now drop. Now that the problem is, is you're setting it. So now, can you do that while a guy's moving, and that becomes a problem, and then the weight comes back a little bit, right? It's hard. Yeah. No, of course not. Go. Split. Oh, nice. Quit. Good. Darn it. Go. I'm a big fan of Thatcher Demko. I've already, I think I've said that. And it's all a habit. So when that shot goes wide, snap your eyes and go, right? Even if we're not playing the rebound, boom, get there quick. Oh, what a terrible pass. Good save, three things you got to account for. And now you can't probably play toes on top because we're simulating there's a guy back here. So you got to reduce it to whatever you feel comfortable with, like 80, 75-ish. Yeah, just you're off angle. I, I didn't even move, I, I wasn't watching. I just was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, sick save. Wow. Go. You got it. What a battle to finish it off. So it is podcast day for Wheels and I. We got some Patreon exclusive episodes to do today. So it's gonna be a little bit of a longer episode, longer recording session. I got a whole get up, the blazer and everything. There's a, an increased female demographic watching the podcast with me. So I'm doing my best to clean up, shall we say. Some of the stories you told about uh, the way they go shopping in those areas, it doesn't surprise me. When they would just load up the shopping cart at Walmart and just walk out. <laughs> I remember them specifically telling uh, them coming to you after things would kind of go south a little bit. This day's off your podcast. Yeah. There'll be no mention of this. Yeah, I remember the food poisoning. Keep that out the podcast. I remember the bus breaking down. Keep that out the podcast. Yeah, anytime something went wrong, instantly, don't put this in the show. Don't put this on, you know what I mean? Right. And I'd be constantly getting called in the office for that. So, And I'm going to be giving you 150 a week. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, dude, we, we shook on this. We had a deal. No, we didn't. We never shook on anything. Is, is this how it's going to be? Like, is this generally how it's going to be? You're looking in my eyes. You're bullshitting me. We've, we've had a deal. What was the thing that they say in the Fed, the three things? Uh... Oh, here I can actually say this. So the three biggest lies in pro hockey. Checks in the mail. You're only going down for two weeks. It's not about the goal. It's about who you become in the process. I will say this. I'm 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 proud of you for sticking to your uh, sticking to your guns. It, uh, it's unfortunately, sometimes the uh, the right decision isn't the one that's going to best serve you in the short term. But in the uh, but in the long run, I think um, I, I think you're gonna walk away from this one going, yeah, I can still hold my head high on that one. Can I be honest with you for a second? And and I this, hope you're always honest with me, sir. I'm I'm gonna be bluntly honest, and this is for the patrons. This is why I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want it to end this way either. Like, mm -hmm. I had high hopes for Watertown. 
when the trade went through. I, I thought this was going to be it. This was going to be the golden goose of opportunities. And I thought when I left Motor City, I was like, you know, this is this is the bottom. This is, I don't think the experience can get much worse. I would honestly say my experience in Watertown was worse than Motor City. I enjoyed being in Motor City better. Uh, good things come to those who wait. Yet, that you're in Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get all this stuff off for tomorrow to apply. So these are my Collector Series trading cards: Motor City, Barberg, Flemingsburg, College Hockey Junior, all of it. Um, just kind of like a little business idea I had two years ago. Uh, a fan sent me like a thousand cards of myself, and I said, "What do I do with them?" And he said, "We'll start selling them." And then we listed them for sale. And actually, this is the literal last one of that print. And then we just decided, because everybody seemed to be buying them, to print holographic ones, normal ones. So if you want to support the channel, uh, the price just lowered. So it's 10 bucks, I believe 12 with shipping. There's going to be a link in the description. Um, you can get them for 5 bucks. Well, free, if you join the Patreon page for 5 bucks. So it's a good way to support the channel, support your boy. And also, when all these sell, there's going to be some new holoprinted Watertown, Mississippi, and former uh, Motor City cards. Link in the description to check them out. Let's take a closer look here. We're super setting the trap bar with a single arm cable side plank row. Cue workout montage now. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button because I journal my journey through professional hockey in video format every single Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern with this vlog. And I'll put a link in the video description for you to check that out. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.